टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू समराइज लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा वी ऑल नो दैट देर आर टू हाउसेज ऑफ द इंडियन पार्लियामेंट लोकसभा द लोअर हाउस एंड राज्यसभा द अपर हाउस लोकसभा इज ऑल्सो नोन एज हाउस ऑफ पीपल एंड राज्यसभा इज ऑल्सो नोन एज काउंसिल ऑफ स्टेट्स लोकसभा हाउस ऑफ पीपल राज्यसभा काउंसिल ऑफ states if we talk about the elections to the lok sabha its members are elected directly all the indian citizens who are above the age of 18 they use their right to vote and elect the members to the lok sabha okay so the members to the lok sabha are elected directly by the people of india but if we talk about rajya sabha Here there are indirect elections. How we elect the members of the state legislative assemblies that are MLAs, and these elected MLAs further elect the members of the Rajya Sabha. So they, these are indirect elections. Okay, so Rajya Sabha indirect, Lok Sabha direct elections. Members to the Lok Sabha are elected directly by the citizens of India above the age of 18. and members to the rajya sabha are elected indirectly by the members of the state legislative assemblies and one very interesting thing here is that members of the lok sabha are elected through secret ballot process and members to the rajya sabha are elected through open ballot process yes rajya sabha elections are through open ballot it is never secret ballot okay now the next if we talk about the term The term of the Lok Sabha is five years. After every five years, there will be elections in the country, and a new government is formed. And if we talk about the term of the Rajya Sabha, it is a permanent house, and it never gets dissolved. Yes, the term of its members is for six years. Rajya Sabha is a permanent house; it never gets dissolved, but its members are elected for a term of. Six years. So one third member retire after every two years. Say if it say exam take an example in the year two thousand twenty three, two members are getting retired from the Rajya Sabha. One is from Bihar and another is from say uh, Punjab. So there will be elections in the Punjab Legislative Assembly and the Bihar Legislative Assembly to fill those vacant seats. Okay. So the term of the members of the Rajya Sabha is six years and one third member retire after every. Two years, but if we talk about the term of the Rajya Sabha, it is a permanent house. It does not get dissolved. The next is composition. What is the composition of the Lok Sabha? It should not be more than five five zero. Okay, the strength of the Lok Sabha, the total membership, should not be more than five five zero. And if we talk about the composition of Rajya Sabha, not more than two five zero, two hundred fifty. Okay. Now in Rajya Sabha there are twelve members which are nominated by the president. There's a difference between the word elected and nominated. Okay, so twelve members are nominated by the president who have excelled in the fields of social service, science, art, and literature. Okay, so rest two thirty eight are from the states and union territories. So total strength. Not more than two five zero out of these two hundred fifty, twelve are nominated by the president, and remaining two thirty eight are from the states and UT. They are elected from the states and the union territories. Okay, and remember one thing: all the union territories they do not send their representatives to the Rajya Sabha. It is only Delhi and Puducherry. And after Article three seventy was removed, when Jammu and Kashmir was converted to a union territory. so jammu and kashmir also send their representatives to the rajya sabha so there are three union territories now which send they send their members to the rajya sabha one is delhi one is puducherry and the another is jammu and kashmir if we talk about the composition of the lok sabha total strength is 550 okay not more than 550 current strength is 545 but total not more than 550 so out of that 550 20 Members are elected from the union territories. 
elected from the union territories and remaining 530 members are elected from the state legislative state sorry states so if we talk about here the nominated members currently there are no nom nominated members to the lok sabha earlier there used to be when constitution was framed there was a provision that the anglo indians if their community does not get proper representation so the two members of the anglo indian community could be nominated to the lok sabha by the president of india but uh, now after the india completed 75 years of independence so this provision was not extended by the current ruling party so this provision is no more there in the indian constitution now so there are no nominated members to the lok sabha whereas there are 12 nominated members to the rajya sabha i'll repeat once again lok sabha 550 with no nominated members rajya sabha not more than 250 and out of these 250 12 members are nominated by the president of india now what is the age criteria to be a member of lok sabha age should be at least 25 years if you want to be a member of the lok sabha your age should be at least 25 years and to be a member of rajya sabha your age should be at least 30 years 30 30 years we will talk about the presiding officers who is the presiding officer of the lok sabha speaker and who is the presiding officer of the rajya sabha that is chairman and who acts as a chairman vice president is the ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha so that's it from my side for the chapter union parliament if you need more information you follow me on insta and subscribe me on uh, youtube and if you have more questions please write in comments thank you